I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Tyler and Lee's here with your announcements for November 17, 2020. Do you have an interest in building a stronger future or expanding your knowledge of business? Well, FBLA is the club for you. FBLA gives you the opportunity to strengthen the leadership skills that will prepare you for the college or business world. The cost to join FBLA is only $12. Pay by cash or check payable to CBSD FBLA. See Ms. Delon for any of, or any of the officers if you have any questions. Attention juniors and seniors. Academically eligible students have been sent an application for the National Honor Society. Please check your email for information and deadlines. Email or see Mrs. Jones with any questions. Attention seniors, please check your email for news regarding your cap and gown. Today's lunch includes French toast sticks with sausage patties and crispy tater tots. The football team takes on Bedford this Friday at Daltuna High School in the state semifinals. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Teachers, please send any updates or announcements that you may have to CDTV at centralvalleysd.net. That's all we have for you today, CB. And here's a special segment on college visits with Chloe and Carolyn. Hey, CB. Chloe and Carolyn here to bring you a segment on college visits. College visits play a key part in a student's decision for which college they want to attend. They help students gain perspective on the kind of environment they're looking for. Experts suggest students visit at least six colleges while in their admissions process. They recommend going during the summer, and if you like the campus, go back a second time during a different season to experience new conditions it may offer. When you visit a college, you should bring a few items along to track your experience. The first being a notebook or a place you can jot down immediate reactions, thoughts, or even questions about the campus. By keeping your notes, you'll be able to look back at your likes and dislikes to help narrow down your search. You can also bring a camera to be able to snap pictures of the campus's setting. Pictures are a great way to remind you visually of the highs and low points of the tour around campus. You should also try to have at least one parent, guardian, or friend accompany you on the tour. This will give you someone to bounce reactions off of and discuss pros and cons on the spot. Colleges, it used to be very simple to schedule and attend. However, with COVID-19, they're a bit harder to find in person. Over the summer, most got canceled, but they are now starting to come back as the school year starts with all new guidelines to ensure safety. Attendants must first call the admissions office upon arrival and wait in their car for their tour guide to approach their car. You must also walk six feet apart from others and masks are required at all times. Finally, only one building will be open to tour attendants to show dorm life and they are not allowing eating on the buildings on campus. If you are not wishing to follow these in-person guidelines, you can always opt to attend a virtual tour. Virtual tours offer a 360 view of the campus in virtual reality form and lets people tap their way around while listening to information videos attached to each spot. It's never too early to start planning your future and college visits are a great way to start. That's all we have for you today, CB. Have a great day.